Another Marmite video today because I've managed to lay hands on Dynamite, which is the Marmite with chilli. Limited edition. I went to the shop several times and only found a placeholder there, but the other day I was there again my weekly shopping and saw this on the shelf, so grabbed it. So we're going to taste this today, but I think it also in today's video we're going to retaste all of the other Marmites and Vegemite just straight from a spoon because then we won't have the confounding factor of the toast. Now one thing this toaster does toast reasonably well is muffins and I'm going to toast a couple of white English muffins today for tasting the Marmite with chilli and I thought it might be interesting as well just to revisit what I said previously about forking muffins which is what I'm doing now so I've just forked this muffin and then it comes apart like that I just want to show you the difference between doing that and slicing it so if we slice it with a bread knife let's get a close look at that now you can see there's a pretty clear difference between the forked muffin and the sliced muffin of course I was only messing around before when I said this is wrong and this is right for me this is wrong and this is right but you do what suits you I just want to illustrate really that this one here all of these little edges and crumbs and so on will get more toasted than this flat surface and they will also take more butter and more flavor but we'll have a look at that properly in a minute let's put a couple of those in okay so that looks about right let's just have a look so sliced muffin and forked muffin and regardless of which one of those you actually prefer they definitely are different aren't they so just to keep those two warm we'll keep those over there it's got some nice french butter here and i'm just allowing these muffins to cool a little bit some people thought it was a a problem that the well some people sa said that they prefer the butter to be completely melted for their marmite i actually don't i prefer my butter to be partially melted so i like to let, leave it on there let it melt a little bit and then spread it around a bit so that there's a kind of marbled effect yeah this butter's just starting to soften now and for me that's probably just about right it's going to melt a little bit more now i spread it out but I want to get the Marmite on there before all of the butter has melted. Here we go with the Marmite chilli. Let's have a sniff. Doesn't smell any different. Can't smell anything in there that's identifiably chilli. It looks similar. Probably enough there for both muffins. Let's give that a go. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm making a right mess here. So yeah, for me, little bits of unmelted butter mixed in with it is part of the joy. So time to taste. The chilli is really subtle. I'm not getting any heat from that. That's really weird. On the second bite, there's a little bit of a burn on the tongue, but wow, there's not much chilli in there. Just for comparison, we'll taste it on the sliced muffin. So I have to say that feels like a little bit of a letdown. There's a little bit of chilli warmth on my tongue, but which is nice, but it's not really, well, it's not dynamite. It's Marmite with a very, very subtle hint of chilli. I guess they must have gone for something that's going to work for a broad section of the market. But anyway, now here's the problem I have with a lot of these type of products. You see, products that have things mixed already means you can't really choose the ratio that you want. And this is why I tend to prefer to mix it myself. And I've already got a video on this topic, actually, of Marmite and Sriracha, which is a couple of years ago, I discovered that I really like Marmite with chilli because I was mixing Marmite and Sriracha on toast. I'll put a link in the video description and in this card if you're on a card enabled platform to that video. But I think we'll just revisit that now. Lashings of butter. 
and so regular marmite oh hello Eva and this is what I'm talking about this kind of marbling of things and not having it evenly spread I just really like it that way and then sriracha so we'll have some sriracha on there as well and again we're just going to blend that in just like that okay now let's give that a taste see I think that's better than this and there's two reasons for that one is that when you get a product like this you can't alter the ratio of the mixture so you have to accept the amount of chili that they think is the right amount to put in there when you mix it yourself obviously you get the choice and so here I've got a little bit more chili in there than in that dynamite marmite and the other point is that when you mix it yourself you can do what I really really love to do which is not mix it completely I appreciate not everybody likes things this way but I do and because it's this imperfectly mixed blend of flavors when you bite into that the sensation you get is kind of this succession of different flavors and textures and mouthfeel that wash over your senses and for me that's a much more joyous thing than just tasting something that's got one uniform or blended flavor sriracha is quite salty in itself so I think the optimum blend is the reduced salt marmite with sriracha and butter this product well I'm glad to have tried it but honestly I think it's just it could do with some more chili in it so at this point you're probably screaming at the screen saying why don't you combine those two things well okay let's give that a try so a little bit of sriracha on the dynamite marmite let's give that a try yeah that's good I mean of course it is that's a nice combination but to be honest it's not significantly better than that combination and I think there's something about the garlic in here also that combines very well with the salty umami of the marmite the heat of the chili and the the general savory flavor so I'm just going to finish this up and then we'll taste the marmites and vegemite completely on their own let's find you a little bit with no chili on it Come here. Got a little paw for me. That's lovely. Thank you. Right then. So using mainly spoons, I'm going to taste each of these pastes. I was going to say marmites, but there's bovril and Vegemite here as well. Just to evaluate their subtle flavors that might have been masked by the granary toast that I used last time. So let's start with the regular marmite. I don't recommend anybody do this. I was brought up on Marmite, and so I kind of know what to expect when I taste it. So, but this can be a bit of a shock to the system. So I'm just gonna take the tiniest little taste on the spoon there. So savory, salty, slight sort of beery bitterness and slight maltiness to it. And I think now the thing to do is taste Vegemite. So little palate cleanser first. And we'll have a little taste of Vegemite in its pure form. Quite a different consistency. Mm. Lots of different flavor there, actually. And it's got an overtone of flavor that a lot of people might identify as chemical. I know everything's a chemical, but there's a kind of toasty overtone that yeah I think a lot of people might identify as as chemical really it's just a nutty sort of flavor but 
quite different from Marmite in that respect. Okay, next, I think the Marmite XO. Mm, okay, right. Yeah, when that's tasted on its own, and probably if I'd had that with white toast, yeah, it's a deeper, richer, more complex. It's got more of the sort of beery maltiness to it. It's, it's a richer and more complex flavor. Really hard to describe any of these things, but yeah, it's just got more depth to it, I think, that one. Okay, and the reduced salt. This is usually a more runny paste than the regular Marmite. So yeah, the reduced salt nature of this does mean that the umami flavor comes out even more. So does the malty flavor. It's a slightly softer paste. It's a slightly softer texture than regular Marmite. Less sticky, more gooey. And yeah, I think the bitterness of the, presumably the hop residue that's in the brewing yeast sediment has come through on that. But that's nice. And if you're gonna eat one off a spoon, I guess that's the one to do. Okay. Now, no, I think we'll do dynamite, the dynamite first. Slightly darker color than the regular Marmite. I may not take all of that actually, there's quite a lot on the spoon there. Even like that, the chili's not in your face. It's really quite subtle. And finally, Bovril, which is the beef concentrate. Much more runny consistency than Marmite. A much darker brown than Marmite. And let's have a taste. Smoother on the palate, a very rounded flavour. But yeah, the, the kind of intense meatiness really comes out. And so, yeah, this is obviously, it's, you know, it's made from condensed beef stock as well as yeast extract. So that's why. They are interestingly quite similar flavours. So I think you could legitimately describe Marmite as tasting beefy. But this kind of takes it to a different level. So I kind of think my view of this product summarises my view of blended flavour products in general. I know there's a marmite peanut butter and i have eaten marmite with peanut butter in a sandwich but again i prefer to mix it myself because you know then i get the ratio i want but also the whole incomplete mixing so that you get waves of different flavors is part of the enjoyment of eating things that are mixed together for me i don't really want a homogenized blend of flavors i hope that was interesting let's discuss anything you want in the comments thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon